Welcome to a new science class today. We will talk about food chains in ecosystems. We all know that an ecosystem is a place or community where animals and plants live. Animals and plants are living things, and living things need food to survive. How does this work in ecosystems? You are going to observe some pictures, and I would like you to try to figure out what happens in each one of them. Look at picture number one. Now, look at picture number two. Finally, look carefully to picture three. There is something you see in all of these pictures. Can you tell me what it is? If you say that you observe living things eating each other, you are just fine. That is exactly what is happening. You know that living things need energy to live. Where do they get this energy from? Plants need sunlight, water, and nutrients to survive. They make their own food with the photosynthesis process. That is how they grow. By other hand, animals get energy from food they eat. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat other animals and some other animals eat animals and plants. When an animal eats, it gets energy from the food. The transfer of energy from one species to another is what we call a food chain. In a food chain, some living things are producers of energy. If you look at this picture, you see that there is a plant. Since plants make their own food, we call them producers. This food chain begins with this plant. The plant is then eaten by a caterpillar. The caterpillar then is a consumer because it gets energy from the plant. It does not create its own food. Later, the caterpillar is eaten by a frog and the frog is eaten by a snake. The frog and the snake are also consumers. Finally, the snake is eaten by an owl. When the owl dies, it decomposes and is broken down and used by bacteria and fungi. These nutrients go back to the soil and used again by plants. The chain starts all over again. That means that in a food chain, there are producers, consumers, and decomposers. The plant you sow is a producer. What do producers do? You are right, they make their own food. The caterpillar, the frog, the snake, and the owl were the consumers. What do consumers do? Correct, they eat food from producers or from animals that eat producers. After the owl died, the nutrients went back to the soil due to the decomposers. What do decomposers do? They break down dead animals or plants into organic material that goes back to the soil again. When talking about consumers, we should consider that there are different types of consumers. Some are herbivores because they eat only plants. Others are carnivores. They only eat other animals. And there is another group that eats plants and animals. We call them omnivores. Where would you place human beings? Do you think we are producers, consumers, or decomposers. If you were thinking we are consumers, you are right. Let's have a little practice. Look at the following pictures and classify them as producer, consumer, or decomposer. If you said that the current plant is the producer, you are right. Are there any consumers? The rabbit and the fox are the consumers. What about the mushroom? You are right. 
if you say it's a decomposer. Now, let's see if you remember. We said the rabbit and the fox are consumers, but what kind of consumers are they? Is the rabbit a carnivore, an omnivore, or a herbivore? I'm sure you know a rabbit is a herbivore. Rabbits eat only plants. What about the fox? The fox is a carnivore. If we had to draw the food chain, it will go and look just like this. Well kids, hope you like this science class today. Remember what you learned. A food chain is the transfer of energy from one species to another. Living things are divided into producers, consumers, and decomposers. They are all part of the food chain. Consumers can be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores, depending on what they eat. Human beings are part of the food chain. Goodbye.